Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everybody. In this occasion, I would like to present my presentation related to the topic today is about how to design a lesson plan. Okay, I will share my lesson plan first. Okay, our topic today is about how to design a lesson plan. Topic of the lesson plan is about writing letter. As we know that letter is the smallest part in writing. Before we write about word or sentence, we have to know about the letter first. As usual, the first is about the identity of the lesson plan. We have to know about the school, subject, class, semester, the topic, and also time allocation. After that, we have to know the learning goals because learning goals is the important part when we design a lesson plan. There are some learning goals here related to the topic today is about writing letter. After the student have conducted learning process through scientific approach, the students will be able to, firstly, the student will be able to say and observe how letter will be written and spoken. And the second is ask or answer the questions related to how the letter be written and spoken. And the third is about collecting information. Students will be able to get any information and connect dots related to the topic later. The fourth is associating. Students will be able to read and rewrite some example of later that was learned before. And the last is about communicating. The student will be able to use later that given by teacher to arrange a word in written or spoken form. The next is about character development. There are some characters that will be developed during the learning process. The first is religious, honest, disciplined, responsible, and the next care, manners, and the last is confidence. We come to the next. The next is about learning activities. There are some parts in learning activities. The first is beginning activities. As usual, teacher will open and begin the learning process by doing greetings, checking student attendance, checking student preparation and psychological, checking class environment, and also the teacher always reminds the students to follow healthy instruction related to the COVID-19 pandemic during the learning process to Zoom meeting. The second one, teacher requires the students for beginning and for beginning the learning process by reciting du'a and basmala together. And the next, teacher does brainstorm activities, a perception and motivation to the students. The last is teacher states learning goals, scope of learning topic and assessment. The next is about learning process. During the learning process, there are some activities that will be conducted by the teacher and also the students. The first, observing and questioning. Firstly, the teacher will play a video to encourage and get the student's attention. It is important to the teacher to make sure the student will pay attention when the teacher explains the topic to get the student attention, the teacher will play a learning video to the link. And then the teacher and the students will sing together by watching the video. After the student watch the video, the student will identify the way to say the letter related the topic that has been delivered. The topic is about writing later. After that, teacher will post the video and point some letters that was said by teacher before and student repeat what the teacher read. So the teacher will post the video 
in the video there are some of letters and then the student have to point the letter and repeat what the teacher read and repeat what the teacher read and after that shouldn't view picture data or information prepared by teacher through powerpoint or already contained in their handbook if teacher find that students have any struggle when they listen or when they write the letter the teacher will help the student by giving the student the letter chart that prepared by the teacher before the teacher will give student letter chart to make the student easier to understand how to write and spell the letter you could see on my lesson plan there's the letter chart when we start the letter with a it means a for apple a for apple and b for b and b for b c for carrot c for carrot and so on and after that the teacher identify the way to write the letter related to the topic writing the letter the teacher focus here is about writing the letter by looking at the chart before so after the teacher give the student the letter chart the teacher have to make sure the student write the letter same as the letter chart and then if the student have difficulties to write the letter directly teacher will use another learning media to help them with their struggle so here the teacher will use tracing letter to help student difficulties when write later so if some student has struggled to to write the letter just by looking at the letter chart then the teacher will give another option that is tracing letters so the teacher will give student tracing letters and then the student have to connect the dots in the letter form to write a letter and then after that the student have to connect the dots to make the letter form and the last teacher guides the student who have struggled to connect the dots we have to realize that some that some of students still have any struggle when they connect the dots and the teacher have to guide the student and motivate the student that they can do it and the next activity is collecting information so the teacher gives the student learning media like the letter chart or the tracing or the tracing letter table the student individually rewrite and say the letter if it is important for the student not only they can write the letter but also they can spell and say the letter as the same as the native speaker and then to make sure the student be able to say and spell the letter correctly the teacher will spell the letter first and then the student will repeat what teacher say the last activities in the learning process is about associating so all the student can write the letter and say the letter correctly the student have to try to write some words so for the example when the teacher say the letter for d and then the student have to search any word with the first letter begin with d and then the student will write 
the word in their task book and the last we come to the closing activities so the teacher explain about the topic and all the students understand about the topic and then teacher and student conclude the learning topic the second one is teacher and student reflect the learning process the third is teacher inform the activities or topics that will be studied at the next meeting and the last is close the lesson by reciting hamdalah together and for the assess the student understanding the teacher have already prepared some of uh, worksheet first is worksheet one the question is please analyze the picture below then write down the letter in your task book after the student understand about the topic the student have to prove their understanding by write down the letter in their task book and then for the worksheet two please connect the dots then write down the name of the things beside the letter and then the teacher gives student higher level of assignment you can see on my lesson plan student have to connect the dots after that the student have to write down the name of the thing beside the letter like a there's a picture of apple so the student have to connect the dots first and then the student have to write down the name of the things beside the letters a for apple and b for ball and so on i think that's all my presentation related to the topic how to design lesson plan i think that's all to apologize for my mistakes thank you for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh